This nigga pull up your panic. Niggas the panic. We still got haters on here. We still got haters on here. What's happening? Your destiny good. She don't know what's in the house. We good. Vamp life. What's happening? What's the nigga was tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm one happy fuck tonight, bro. <laughs> you right. <laughs> you you couldn't have said it more perfect than that. <laughs> For real. You said it perfect, brother. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, check it out. Check it out, y'all. Y'all don't even know. I ain't even want to tell y'all, but I got some vamp shirts coming. So... All the two vamps. I'm gonna get y'all some shirts so we can represent, like for real. I got some cold, I got some cold vamp shirts coming for real. Some cold ones. It's going down. I got you. I got y'all. Everybody, just come on. I know. I know the real vamps. Come on now. You don't think I know the real vamps? I know the real vamps. I ain't selling nothing. Well, you yeah. I got a little bit of weed for sale. Don't tell nobody. I got bros in Atlanta. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, son. <laughs> she said, me too, huh? <laughs> What's happening? I just told a hundred people. Oh, I'm sorry, but don't tell nobody else. Between us. Do I tell anybody else? I can't mess with something no more. If more than a hundred people know, oh, that's 144 people. Y'all fucked up already. Nobody gets it. Cleveland weed is weak. Hey, man. I'm not about to get in the box of ring with you over that. <laughs> I'm not about to get in the ring with you over that, son. You you, you knock me out over that. <laughs> I don't disagree. Do I got a medical card? I need to get one, but I never get one because every time I... I be saying I'm gonna get me one because every time I go into a dispensary, they always give it to me for free. So I be like, so I be saying I'm gonna get me a week, I'm gonna get a card. But every time I'm about to go get one, they be like, no, you don't need it. Here, here you go. We love you. I be like, hey, I love you too. So it just made me lazy. It just made me lazy. That's it. Oh, you laughed at a midget that fell? Who said that? Who said they laughed at a midget that fell? Who said it? It was funny. Well, damn it, you should have laughed your ass off. <laughs> hey, because a midget would laugh at you if you fell. I don't doubt they would have. It ain't nothing wrong with laughing at them just because they fail. Now, I can see if it was something more personal. You making fun of them, but I laugh at people that fall down all the time. It's funny. Hey, I, Wishbone fell down one time. <laughs> I ain't going to tell y'all about that straight because he's going to kick my ass when next time he trying to see me. But yeah, Wishbone fell down. I'm talking about this nigga fell down and... This was the slowest fall I've seen in my life. I'm talking about this nigga fell for like 
five, six minutes. <laughs> Nigga fell for like five minutes. Slow motion. We was in Australia too. This nigga fell for like five, six minutes. Like, oh, boom. No lie. Couldn't get up either. I was like, <laughs> I'm telling the truth, man. I'm telling you, what I'm supposed to do, lie? I cannot. I'm, I'm like George Washington. I cannot tell a lie. He did. You smoke with Lazy Bone? You still alive? You a bad person? You a bad woman? You live to tell about it? <laughs> you live to tell about it. Seriously? You a bad mom, but for real. Oh my God, like people, look. do y'all see these people on here? <laughs> these people, these people, what is y'all even doing up? Like, I, I mean, like, they on heroin. I think they on heroin. They on heroin. They on something. The heroin addicts. They're on that Ron C. So, game Sunday is the big game. I'm finna, my whole weekend finna be so not good because. I'm going to be so nervous. Tomorrow, I'm going to be good. Tomorrow, we kicking it, y'all. We having a stone cold groove in the studio. Periscoping the whole session. We going in tomorrow. But after tomorrow, I'm going to be a brand new nigga. I ain't fucking with y'all. I'm going to be too nervous. Barbecuing on Sunday? What? I ain't, I know. I'm be too. I'm, I'm gonna be too nervous to barbecue anything. I'll be done burn everything up. Too nervous. I'm ordering um, pizza again. It is. I got to concentrate. I can't be cooking during the game. I can't be like, like this game is so serious. Like you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even understand what this is to me out here. Y'all don't even understand what this is right now. You know what I'm saying? This is real. This is real detrimental right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, what y'all feel about Steph Curry's girl saying the game was rigged? Now, if y'all don't go in on her, and y'all and everybody talking about LeBron James cry too much, come on, son. Why is you even talking anyway? Is what I would say. Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. But so what? You say, shut up. You don't say nothing. When is the last time you heard somebody else's wife in the NBA making comments? It's going to your head a little bit. Sit down. Shut the hell up. I love her too. But not tonight. Why is it rigged? Because y'all lost. I'm a real fan too. But do you hear me talking about, oh, the game was rigged. Keep it real, y'all. Keep it real. How was the game rigged? How was the game rigged? Because they finally called fouls on Steph Curry. It's rigged because they finally called him for foul shots. LeBron is the one that never get the calls. If you brush up again, look here. Niggas be slapping LeBron all in his face. Slapping him all upside the head. They never call it. But if you brush up, 
if you even brush up against Steph Curry's jersey the wrong way, foul, foul. Seriously? No, oh, these ain't no lies. This is real. This is real. Exactly. Get a golden boy. It's cool. Get a golden boy, but... I don't know if the golden boy can uh, hang with the thug life. Fool, it's thug life. Cleveland, thug life. We're on the first 48, son. We're on the first 48, son. What? What, son? <laughs> We're on the first 48, son. What? 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 Huh? They don't want to see us, man. <laughs> no. I'm not going to be quiet. I'm going to be loud. I can't see it. Man. 41 points back to back. <laughs> First 48 Curry coming for it. I know how. Oh no, trust me. I ain't counting Curry out. Trust me. I can never trust that motherfucker. He, that little bitch gonna come back and get us! Hold on, yo. I gotta get me something to drink. I always fall back on scope. Who bulls those is in, who? And never gets caught. Yeah, bro, I be in, um. No, I'll be in Chicago on Saturday. Ain't tomorrow the 17th? It's tomorrow, it's today the 17th? Today is the 17th, right? Hey, I'm 18 years old, y'all. Yeah. How y'all know? I show. I know y'all wish y'all was as young as me, don't you? Feels good. Feels good. I know you do. Don't hey, don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate on me now. Don't hate. Don't hate on me now. Everybody can't be this young. No, I ain't 49, son. What you talking about? Nigga, is you gay? So I hate bitch ass niggas come on my motherfucking page like just talking this bitch ass shit. Like, whole ass niggas. For real. Nigga, see me. Hey, hey, I'm everywhere, homie. When you see me in person, ask me that same question. And see, don't your jaw get broke. Clank, clank. Bang, bang. Bottom line. You must don't know about bone. You must don't know about bone. For real. For real. These niggas don't. For real, for real. Niggas always do that, like when they behind a, you know, like a, like a site like this. And there's always the niggas and they never got a picture on they, you know, it's the niggas that they never got a picture on their profile. Cause these niggas just feel so comfortable coming online. Them the honestly though, them the niggas you need to watch. They shooting shit up. They shooting shit up. Them the ones you need to watch. Hey, you know what? I'm sorry. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? 
No, fuck them. I don't care. That's all good. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I know, huh? It's it, it's all good though. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. But like I said, y'all, I got a studio session going on tomorrow. A little celebration, a couple shots. Got some people coming through tomorrow. Celebrate. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up, New Zealand? Yes, you can come. Matter of fact, if y'all in the area, I might even shoot an address off for niggas to come through to hear some music and a little celebration. Yeah. So if you're in the area, I'll let y'all know where to come to tomorrow. If y'all can make it. I'm in Cali. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm not in Cleveland. I'm in, I'm in Los Angeles. I wish I was in the SAC area because I would be at the game on Sunday, job. But I couldn't even take going to a game out here. I think I would bring bad luck and make the team lose. <laughs> and make the team lose. For real. I'm sorry. What? Why just break your heart? What happened? Hell yeah, I'm nervous. Have you ever lived in Cleveland? Have you ever had a Cleveland, clean, a te a Cleveland team to support? Have you? Okay. That's why I'm so nervous. I was ner Hey, look. I was nervous the entire game. I was talking shit the whole game. Even when the Cavs was about to win, I was like, they gonna lose this mother. They gonna lose it. They gonna lose it. That's just what we used to. I'm sorry. I don't care. If you're from Cleveland or you're a Cavs fan, I don't care what you say. You know that's how you feel, too. I don't give a damn. You was in there like biting your nail. I bet ain't none of y'all got no nails left on your fingers no more. Do you? Nope. Your nails is gone. You probably even bit your toenails off. <laughs> That's what was next. The toenails almost had to go to, for real. You say, ugh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but hey. That's how it is. You down here in Cleveland. We live raw. I'm just glad. Hey, the Indians is on top. Y'all see that? Cleveland fans? Am I drunk? Not yet? I'll tell you when I get drunk. These will never get me drunk. I need Hennessy. You got some Hennessy? You got some Hennessy? Going to buy me some? Come on. Come on. Y'all think as I'm acting this silly, I'm drunk. I've been like this. Y'all just never saw me like this. For real. You want what, dude? Am I alone? No. There are always any in watching. I'm just playing. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you got the hand? What's happening? Got the hand? What's happening? I'm, <laughs> I'm silly. Yeah, I am. Do you buy me some? Okay, come on. Let's go right now. I meet you anywhere. Pink robot still exists. I called the Uber. She's on her way. She's on her way. Never fear. She's on her way. Shh. 
Y'all gonna get me in trouble. Buy where? Buy what? Late night vamp. Late night vamp. It's my birthday. It is, ain't it? I shouldn't give a damn, man. But I, I told you, I gotta get up in the morning. I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta work out tomorrow. I've been on the road, y'all. I've been working out. I ain't bullshitting. I've been working out. And the main purpose of me working out is to knock me a motherfucker out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm serious, though. I'm serious. I'm serious. Knock me a motherfucker out. I'm tired of people talking crazy to me. Time's gonna knock me a motherfucker out, bro. Bing, bing. I'm out. Bottom line. You know? I'm serious. I'm, I'm just waiting on it. Nigga, put your, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me, nigga. Come on. That's what I'm saying. As soon as I get, as soon as I get big, I'm going straight to the tough guy convention. <laughs> Y'all make sure you be there. I'm going right to the tough guy convention. <laughs> to the tough guy convention. How y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, I'm, 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 I'm just working out the stash. I'm not about to be on TV like these corny ass niggas taking their shirts. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working out to get in shape to live longer to be with my kids longer. I don't give a fuck about none of that Hollywood shit for real. I'm doing it for them because I want to live long enough to see my kids grow up and I want to see all my kids grow up and have kids. You feel me? Like for real. I don't care about none of that Hollywood shit for real. <laughs> For real, for real. For real. <laughs> hey, y'all still talking about LeBron? Hey, LeBron and I, I think it's so funny that everybody's talking about Le Because if you look on the internet, like, there's so many memes about LeBron and Curry. Both of them is funny on both sides. I've been dying laughing at both of them. Like, they got LeBron looking crazy. <laughs> they look <laughs> They got LeBron looking crazy. They got Curry looking crazy. This is just, it's, it's entertaining to me. I love it to death. Like, it's funny to me, <laughs> for real. You say LeBron a big ass crab baby? Well, you know, like, if you was a big dude, you would get tired too if niggas slapped you all upside your head and they never called nothing. You know what I'm saying? He's a big dude. Shaq said it's like, they never call shit on Shaq. Just cause they just 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 cause they big dudes, they never get those calls. But let a little dude get knocked to the floor or smacked in the face or smacked in the head. Oh foul, technical. LeBron, LeBron got to he 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 got to learn to take it. Bottom line, LeBron, I say this myself. Don't complain. Fuck it. Don't complain. Come back harder. They gonna talk about you every time you complain. Just take it. Just be a man and take it. Let him slap you around. Let him slap you around. Just come back. So what? Hey, did y'all know Vera Zhao? Vera Zhao is a lucky motherfucker. Because Vera Zhao gets a ring no matter who wins. That's the rule. Vera Zhao gets a ring no matter who wins. Because he was on both, he was on both teams that's in the, both teams on the, play, he was on the team that was in the, he was on both teams that was in the playoffs in the same year. So he automatically gets the ring. That's cheating. I should get a ring. You know what I'm saying? I should get one. Honestly, though, whoever just said he deserves one. Honestly, he do. 
He do. Honestly, he does because he stayed in Cleveland when LeBron left, and he was there the entire time. So he deserves it. But one thing I didn't like is how he knew he did some sassy shit to Shumpert, and he tried to get in Shumpert's face. Don't forget where you come from, nigga. Don't forget where you come from. We kick your very shall ass. We kick your very shall ass. I'm just playing, y'all. Yeah, we finna go to the. We finna go. Yo, somebody said Shumper sucks. Don't tell nobody I agree with you, but. Terrible. Terrible. You even gotta spell it different. Terrible. And that's how you should spell it. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't get in there, has a little. Get to know has a little hairdo. Look like a black genie out of a damn genie lamp. What the fuck is wrong with him? What's wrong with him? NBA set up. Okay, who who set the NBA up? Illuminati? Illuminati. Did they do it? Is it Illuminati? But it's but it's mighty crazy though. When it's mighty crazy when LeBron complained about the refs. Oh, they put up pictures of him crying. Oh, he's a grandbaby. But Golden State complaining about the refs tonight. So what are they? They're just righteous. They're just righteous, huh? Uh, they should be complaining because the, no, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work like that. No. Shut up. No.